this week, Coinbase moved to dismiss the SEC lawsuit against them, alleging that crypto falls out of regulators' oversight. <laughs> so <laughs> I particularly loved this argument that they made, so I just wanted to highlight it. They said that the SEC isn't claiming that there are investment contracts involved in the 13 tokens that they named as examples in the suit. They say, quote, the transactions over Coinbase's platform and Prime are not and do not involve contractual undertakings to deliver future value reflecting the income, profits, or assets of a business. They are commodity sales with the obligations on both sides discharged entirely the moment the token, the digital token, is delivered in exchange for payment, end quote. So this is just like really... You know, I, I think Coinbase is one of the best companies in the space. They are obviously a giant in the space. Brian Armstrong has shown just incredible leadership for the last 10 years and has really been an example of excellence, of, of setting a high standard and maintaining it. And therefore, the kinds of arguments that we're seeing from his legal team are the best arguments that we have seen in some of these cases so far. And the argument is essentially that, you know, these are not securities. They're referencing the decision from the Ripple case. And it, it's just something that I'm excited to see happening mm -hmm. and also pushes the timeline of this case forward more quickly than we had expected. The SEC only has until Octo October 3rd to file a response to this motion and any amicus briefs to support Coinbase can be filed until August 11th, which is just Next a, week. Right. So that could be interesting to see what comes of that. Um, and on their earnings call last or I guess yesterday, they signaled that they would be filing to dismiss the lawsuit. And their chief legal officer, Paul Growell, said that the coin that Coinbase believed that it would win the case. Uh, so, you know, this is just all very good news for the future of crypto because we really need to blow some holes in the f kind of frivolous lawsuits that we're seeing from the SEC yeah. s and and get away from the regulation through enforcement model mm -hmm. that has kind of just been harming the industry for the last several years and, and really creating this kind of just like doom cloud over yeah. all of us <laughs> where uh, at the same time we're starting to see action on the regulatory front in Congress, and hopefully that will produce some clear rules of the road so that the, the, the industry can really flourish. I think it's really funny that you described Coinbase as like a leader in the space, because there was definitely a time there, especially amongst the cypherpunks, that oh, I know. there was just nothing but hate because they were the biggest ones. They'd raised an enormous amount of money. They're a centralized, centralized. wallet, you know, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, but of yeah. course, since then, they've They've changed that quite a bit. Like they've released, you know, Coinbase Wallet is um, a non-custodial wallet, um, and they definitely have have um, revealed that they they are in alignment with the general ethos. The ethos, and, yeah, absolutely. And they're taking the fight, you know, straight. They're leading the charge on the fight in a lot of ways, and that's fantastic. Well, you know, I don't want to see anybody persecuted, mm -hmm. but I would rather see somebody who has the resources to fight back mm -hmm. persecuted than the ones that don't. Yeah. And so far, we've mostly seen that. We've seen these these little mm -hmm. companies, these little projects that were very under-resourced to begin and with. And end up having to settle. And end then up, the SEC wins by default, exactly. Yeah. Right. Or, or, or just not being able to have great lawyers, not make great arguments. You know, there's just been, yeah. it's been um, not a fair fight. And because Coinbase has now entered the arena by getting sued, they are at least able to put up a strong defense that could make some meaningful change for us. So, yeah. 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 
Well, that's a good argument. It's a very good argument, and I think a lot of people agree with the general premise that these that a lot these are a lot closer to commodities than securities, and thus we should really be reevaluating that that, right. that assumption. I mean, in the if you're going to be forced to take a position with just the current definitions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then it clearly these clearly are not securities. There's mm -hmm. great arguments for why these are not securities. I would say that we actually need you know, sometimes new things mm -hmm. do need new laws and that this is one of those cases. And so it's yep. not really, the best argument isn't really, are they securities or are they commodities? The best argument else. is, there it's new technology. Yeah. We need yeah. some new Let's laws here. Stop trying to pretend Let's, like they fit into something old. Right, because yeah. the technology itself gives you some information mm -hmm. and some accountability right. that just simply could not exist mm -hmm. in other forms of technology or businesses, et cetera. Right. And so the new laws need to reflect the capability of the technology. Agreed, agreed.